Hi, Mike Junong with Blazing Grace. Welcome to day three of 30 Days of Prayer. And a lot of people, this is really a hard topic. When you think of pornography, what do you think of? I think some people think that pornography, the couples that are doing the things they're doing in pornography are just having the time of their life and they're having the best sex ever and it's just one joyous thing and we're missing out because look at how you know wonderful it is but I've talked with ex-porn actors and ex-porn actresses and it's all a big lie um, a lot of the women there's times when when they before they get on the scene they get drunk or stoned on drugs sometimes uh, they'll be vomiting and throwing up before they they do a shoot there are plenty of times where there's manipulation and co coercion where they're forced to do scenes that they weren't told they were going to do before um, there are situations where um, they're in a scene and the woman tears her genitals or tears her rectum and when that happens they keep going there are, there's a lot of suicide there's drug overdose in the porn industry there are porn actors and actresses that die at an early age in their 20s or 30s there's a lot of destroyed lives and so maybe you're listening to this and thinking oh that's that's gross and and that's the point it's people have bought into a lie, those actors and actresses have bought into a lie that if I make all that money doing that, boy, it's going to be the time of my life. And it destroys their life. It's a demonic product that destroys the lives of those who create it, those who produce it, those who distribute it, and those who watch it. So it's destroying marriages left and right. There's one survey that came out that said that half of marriages, more than half of marriages have um, porn in a divorce, meaning that, I didn't say that correct, but more than half of divorces have pornography in them. So this is a massive stronghold in our country, and the U.S. is the number one creator and consumer of pornography in the world and yet not only do not churches talk about it much um, what are we doing to minister to these people so what has happened is there's been this uh, wide-scale invasion in our homes our smartphones and our businesses and hotels and everywhere of this product and we're just sitting there letting it kick our butt uh, we're not doing anything about it we're doing damage control so today what we're going to do is pray for the porn industry. We're encouraged, Jesus encouraged us to pray that God would send workers into the harvest. So let's pray morning, noon, and night that God sends workers into the harvest of the porn industry. Let's pray for the salvation of all those involved with it. The actors, the actresses, the directors, the producers, everyone involved with it. Those who distribute the product, everyone. Let's ask God to start breaking strongholds. Let's, and then let's think about the spiritual battle. Let's ask him to start sending his, his warring angels to fight in this, this realm, in this area that is so big and massive and has such a big stronghold and grip in not only the country in the U.S., but countries all over the world. So when Corona, when the COVID virus hit, uh, the largest porn website in the world said their, their downloads went up 25%. So what it's really exposed is that we have a massive problem in this area. But today, I'm really focusing in on the porn industry and the people that make that. So let's, let's put on our, our armor, helmet of salvation, shield of truth, Breastplate of righteousness, gospel issues, peace, sword of the spirit, word of God. Let's get on our knees and petition him to work powerfully and mightily in this area.